Minimalism and being frugal. Do they go together? I would love to hear your thoughts on this. I'm going to share my thoughts and about my life experiences and what I think about minimalism and being frugal and if they go together. My son is inside looking out at me banging in the doors. So if you hear some banging in the background, that is what it is. But minimalism and frugalism, yes, I believe that they can go together. Not always. But in my situation, this is what I think. I'm going to give you a little bit of my backstory and then share how I feel like minimalism has helped me to be able to save some money. Um, so I grew up, my grandma is around 90 and she is a true depression baby living on the farm. Um, very much, a, you know, you save everything. Growing up, we opened up Christmas birthday presents and she would tell you no don't rip the wrapping paper save it you go out to eat you like tear your napkin of what you used and you saved it very very much depression baby and I'm intrigued how much of those mentalities start and are passed down so there's a lot in my life of you save you save you save um, for example um, I have a bunch of towels in my house right now like a stack and we tend to use the same towels over and over again. So, and actually my two youngest use the same towel a lot of times too because they're still little and it just, it's easier. So we use five towels on repeat and have for like two years. I mean, those towels are the ones that we've used and I'm probably getting to the point where at least my husband's and mine probably are gonna need replaced in the near future. But I probably have 25 towels in my household so if you're starting to do the math, that's enough towels to last me for 10 years, maybe longer, maybe a little less. And I was asking my mom one day, I said, do you need towels? And she's like, you got to keep them because you'll need them someday. And these are towels that I didn't buy. They were handed down from um, my grandma, my husband's grandma. Um, so I didn't spend any money for them. And she's like, you might need them someday. My mom honestly pulled towels out of her closet. Love you, mom. From her wedding, 25 years later. And I remember she pulled them out and they were like paper thin, like not the greatest quality of towels, but you know what? They used them and it worked. So that's very much the mentality that I grew up with was you keep it and you make it work. And I am all for that to some extent. But at the same point, my grandma is still living, but she is in the nursing home and um, will never return back home and so my mom knowing that I mean there's no potential way she can return home and mentally she doesn't always know who we are so my mom actually sold her house a few years ago when we were cleaning out her stuff and there were so many things that she tucked away for the future and there's stuff that some things we kept because we want to remember her for or we could use but a lot of things were like yeah, th this is nice stuff, but what do you do with it? And we ended up having to pass it along or sell or try to find a home for it. My mom still has some of it. Um, so there is, I think there's got to be a balance of, you know, what will this cost to replace someday and should I keep it? Or is it just driving me crazy because I have too much of it? Like, for example, I, my linen closet currently does not have shelves. So my linen closet is just like an extra little space in my house, which is fine because it's not been a priority. But that means all my extra towels are in my girl's closet where I'm taking up space for like their extra clothes and they just kind of, they bother me. And they're decent towels, but it's not like they're amazing towels. And in 10 years, I could buy some new. So I actually had another friend that I said, can you use the towels? Oh, I actually need some new. I need to replace them. So I passed on a few. Guess what? She's using them, I'm assuming, and I'm not storing them for future years. No, I still have some. So I probably still have enough to last me for five years. But that's kind of my background of my mentality and trying to respect that and keep some of that there, but yet at the same time not have so much inventory in my house that I'm going crazy. Now I will say, some people think I'm strongly minimalistic but compared to some people out there I am not so when I say I am minimalistic 
uh, I am to some extent, but um, almost six years ago, it's hard to believe it's been that long, we had a house fire and it started in our garage. Our garage was completely gone and then the smoke infiltrated the rest of our house. And so they highly recommended only pulling out sentimental things and cleaning them. And even the sentimental things that we pulled out and cleaned were not super salvageable. So they were cleaned, but we don't use most of them because it started in the garage. We had our van in there. We had a lawnmower in there, all the chemicals, everything that's in the garage. And you think of that going through your house and going on all of your stuff. Who wants to breathe that in? When you start thinking of all the stuff that goes in our house and how man-made um, plastic junk is in your house, I, I don't really want to be breathing that. And I really don't want my little kids breathing that. So we kept a few things, but not much. So we had absolutely nothing. And I was just thinking, I remember actually crying over breakfast when we had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches because it was food. And at that point, all our food was gone because that was one thing you definitely weren't pulling out. Um, but we started over and it's amazing in six years what we've accumulated, what we've gotten rid of, because I feel like at this point we even still have too much. So to say that we're not lacking, we have a ton. Um, so how my mind has been kind of shifted to, you know, I don't have to have a ton. Um, thinking about my clothes, we're going to use my clothes as an example of how I feel like uh, minimalism has helped me to save money. Now there are some areas that I will collect, collect stuff and food is one of them. I, I'm okay with having a decent amount of food at my house because it saves me a lot of money in the long run. And I will on a good sale, if it's something that I'm going to use, stock up like 12 pounds of butter because I know in the next few months I'm going to use it. And I'd rather spend $2 instead of four. So there are some areas that I will stock up on, but not in every area because some things we just don't go through that fast. Um, but clothes is one. Before our house fire, I had a closet full of clothes. There were some things I couldn't get rid of because they were sentimental. I, I had options and sometimes it stressed me out to get dressed. And there were some things in there that maybe didn't fit me the greatest, but I kept because I wore them occasionally and they were cute and I wore them. But now I don't buy as much because I, if I don't love it, I don't want it in my closet. My closet is much more condensed now. And I actually just ordered some new shirts because we are done with at least naturally having children. And so I won't be pregnant or breastfeed again. And so I can kind of, um, there's a bee flying around here. I can kind of fill in my closet with the things that I have and will wear. And I ordered a bunch of shirts and there was this one that I tried on and I'm like, this is really cute. And I really like the style, but it didn't fit me like I would like it to. And part of me was like, I could add this to my closet and I will wear it and I will, but I'll probably wear it for a few months. And then I'll be like, you know, what was I thinking keeping this? So you know what? I returned it. So it saved me money because I'm like, I don't want to add this to my closet just to in a few months get rid of it because I don't love it. So that's kind of my standard of if I don't love something, I'm not going to be keeping it around. Um, at least in my clothes. There are some other things like, you know, those towels that I have right now that I, I don't love any of our towels that we own right now, but they work and they hang in my closet. Would I give them to my guests? Probably not. I actually might go to the store and buy new towels for guests that were to come and stay because the ones we have, they're just not pretty. They're like orange and pink and purple and yeah, they're not, they work. But what I'm going to add to my closet, I'm going to love. If I went to go buy towels, I'm going to love them. I'm not just going to be like, oh, this is on sale. Let's buy it. So that has helped me to save money because I'm not going to buy everything that's at the store. If it's a good clearance item, it's a dollar for a shirt. Guess what? If I don't love it, it's not coming to my house. So that is my view of minimalism and how it has helped me save money and to be a little more frugal and to help me enjoy life as it is now. One of my reasons for trying to get rid of some stuff is shortly after the house fire, we lived in a house basically on the first story. We didn't sleep in the second story. We just kept things up while we were there for six months. But we went on a walk every single day. 
why? I had nothing better to do with my time, pretty much. And some days I sit there and I think, I have to do this, and I have to do this, and I have to do this, and I have to do this. Because we fill our life with stuff, we fill our life with things we need to do, and we're filling up our life like crazy. And then we never have time to enjoy what we want to enjoy, or not working, or not doing stuff, because our life is full of stuff, or things to do. And so sometimes when I get stressed and I think, oh, I can get rid of something, my reason is because I want to be able to enjoy life, enjoy the simple things, like going out and seeing the sprayer spraying a field and looking like they're going to hit her neighbor's house shortly after breakfast because my to-do list is not so long that I can do that. So not only has it helped me to save money, it's also helped me to be able to focus on what is truly important to me. And guess what? That's not 20 towels. It's being able to enjoy the time with the four precious children that God has blessed me with. So I would love to hear maybe what mentalities you have passed down to you and how that's affected you or what you think of minimalism. If you're on board with it, if you're like, no way, I want my stuff. And if you feel like it's frugal or if you think having more stuff is more frugal for you. So I hope that you have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye.